It was a lively morning in Toyland. Noddy was training to take part in the annual Toyland Sports Day. Good morning, Noddy. I thought you'd be practicing for Sports Day. I am practicing, figures, but I can't seem to run fast. I can't. I just can't. Running fast isn't easy. You need proper coaching from some clever person who will cheer you up and tell you all the things you're doing wrong. You're a clever person. Will you cheer me up and tell me all the things I'm doing wrong? Very well, Noddy. I shall be your coach. Thank you, Biggies. Come along, Noddy. Uh, was I faster this time? Did I run a faster time on your stopwatch? Um, oh, I'm not sure. I'm afraid my watch has stopped. Never mind. Run round your house again. Uh, cheer up. Uh, Noddy, wait. I see what you're doing wrong. To run fast, you must use your arms. I didn't know that. No, 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 no. <laughs> you must use your arms and your legs all at the same time. Oh, dear. The more I think about how to run fast, the harder it gets. Noddy, we've had such a good idea for the sports day. You and I could enter the three-legged race together. Don't be silly, Master Tubby. We've got two legs each. That makes four. No, we tie our legs together with my skipping rope. Then we'll have three legs. Well, this may be a good idea, Noddy. Master Tubby can help you to run fast. <laughs> I'm not sure that we can run fast. We'll soon see. On your marks. Get set. Go! <laughs> I see what you're doing wrong, Noddy. I know what I'm doing wrong. I shouldn't run with Master Tubby. He messes up everything. Oh! Now then, you two, do cheer up. Hello, Noddy. Whatever is going on? Tessie, would you like to enter the three-legged race with me? I'm afraid I can't. I've already promised to enter it with Dinah Doll. But you can borrow Bumpy Dog if you like. Thank you. I came to see if you've got any eggs, so that we could practice the egg and spoon race. Oh, yes! I've got eggs and spoons, and Big Ears will be our coach. I can but try. You coach me too, Big Ears. My mother won't let me practice the egg and spoon race. She said I'd bring so many eggs we'd have no breakfast for a week. Yes, yes. I shall coach you all. Uh, good gracious, what's that? It's my father. Uh, why is he throwing pillows into the air? He's been doing it all morning, but he won't say why. I dare say he's freshening up the feathers. <laughs> Come along, let's find those eggs. Is everybody ready? Ready! Good. On your marks. Get set. Go! Ah, yes. <clears throat> Not here. I see what you're doing wrong. The eggs and the spoons don't race on their own. You have to carry them along. I'm sorry. I've never been in an egg and spoon race before. Oh. My word! Mr. Tubby's at it again. Perhaps he's hoping his pillows will turn into clouds. <laughs> but I don't think they will. Ladies and... Um, oh, yeah. Uh, gentlemen, the first event in the Toyland Sports Day will be the three-legged race. <laughs> On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> Right. Foot. No, Mr. Straw. You're right, and I'm and I'm wrong. <laughs> the winners of the three-legged race are Tessie Bear and Dinah Dog. <laughs> Ladies and um, oh yeah. gentlemen, the next event will be. What's the next event? I think he said it will be the most amazing thing. Step up, please, the first contestant. Stand aside, Maharthis. I'll be the first contestant. Eh, uh, what do I have to do? Well, this event is tossing a... Tossing a bale of hay. 
You have to toss the bale of, the bale of hay as high as you can over, over the wall. Over the wall. That sounds easy to me. Mr. Flood, may I be next? But, Noddy, you haven't practiced tossing the bale of hay. <laughs> then I'll probably be very good at it. Get on. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Did I do something wrong? The final contestant is... <laughs> yes, indeed. That sounds like me. Oh. Oh. And the winner of the tossing the bale of hay is... Mr. Tubby Bear! <laughs> He's been practicing. <laughs> so that's why he was throwing pillows about all morning. The next event takes place in the Market Square. It will be... Oh, good. I might have practiced that one. Congratulations to the winner of the 100 meters wobble. Yet again, Mr. Wobbly Man. That's <laughs> next year somebody else will enter. And now to our final event, the Grand Egg and Spoon Race. To your places, please. I hope I win this race, Big Ears. I haven't won anything yet. Just remember everything I've taught you about running. I promise. On your marks, get set, go! Past the clockwork house, run past her... I can't! I forgot to wind up my clockwork. I say clockwork, no. You'll have to go faster than that old fellow. <laughs> yep. Keep going, Noddy. We're in second place. The winner is Martha Monkey. <laughs> One moment, Miss Martha Monkey. This egg will not come away from this spoon, which suggests to my expert eye that they are stuck together. Is there something wrong with it? Certainly. This is cheating. Oh. I'm afraid you're disqualified. Oh. The true winner of the egg and spoon race is... Noddy! <laughs> well done, Noddy! Thanks to your coaching, Big Ears. I remember to use my legs as well as my arms. Ladies and... Um... Uh, the others, as our only winner to have taken part in every single non-wobbling event, I declare Noddy the champion of the sports day. <laughs> Hooray! Well done, Noddy! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Plot. <laughs> now I've got somewhere to put my egg. Oh, good. <laughs> Scrambled egg for tea. <laughs> Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, his twinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in the toy land. There's Big Ears and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence and a bench and they'll take you all away. And now it's time for Noddy to wave and say goodbye. He's tired and sleepy and nodding his head. He's ready to curl himself up in bed and see what tomorrow brings. Oh, Noddy, Noddy, Noddy.